What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and we are at Hemwick Sharna Lane. We're going to finally make our way through this area. So, um, don't remember, I'm trying to remember what, what I saw here so far. I don't think I did anything here. I think I just showed up. Yeah, I opened the gate and locked it, and that was it. So, literally, this whole area is going to be unexplored for me. Tell you what, these guys don't hit very hard, and uh, on top of that, I'm fucking them up. So maybe I should have done this area earlier? And bloodstone shards? Yeah, I mean, so far this area is a fucking breeze compared to, uh, compared to uh, that boss encounter we had. Oh yeah, you're a beast. What is this? Oh, it's a specter that died right in the corner. Ha! Huh. It sucks. Um, so I was thinking more about that boss after I left, you know? I just... I was not prepared for a boss fight mentally right there. <laughs> and decided that obviously, you know, the, the safest bet was to just get the fuck out. And, um, you know, use those, those items for later. So... I don't regret doing that. Oh, what the hell? What? At the same time, obviously, I hate leaving you guys in suspense like that, so no worries. We will go back and get that boss. Um, not immediately, but I promise we will go back and knock it out relatively soon. I just want to, uh, you know, I want to I wanna get through the, the areas of typical progression that I should follow. Let's check back. Vice is currently... fuck was that? Something down there? But, I think I can, um, you know, going back on topic, I got quiet for a second, but... Oh, what the hell are you? Um, back onto the topic of the uh, crazy boss that we encountered. I have a feeling that if I fought it with lock off, similar to how I would the ancient dragon, that I can probably beat it. I mean, the, my big problem there, you know, was was not expecting a boss fight, and then on top of that, a boss where the hitbox is kind of goofy, so the lock on... Effectively, locking onto that boss was preventing me from connecting on any attacks. And, you know, obviously that's a huge issue. If I'm going to try and fight something, I need to be able to hit it. I mean, you guys saw, I, I took... I mean, I definitely did a hell of a lot more running than I did attacking, but the uh, few attacks I did make, only two of them connected, which is obviously uh, not enough to do any kind of real damage to a boss. So, the next time we go, I'm going to, you know, whether it's the Kirk Hammer or the Axe, I'm just going to go in unlocked and just focus on just beating the shit out of its legs just like I would on the ancient dragon boss fight. And I think that'll probably work a lot better. But we're going to go through this area first, you know, I think the tombstones I mean, like I said, I don't know if this is a, um you know, I don't know if they're supposed to indicate um, wow, okay, that's cool, I didn't fucking parry or anything what the fuck, dick? um I don't know if they're supposed to indicate progression, how they did back in, um, back in Demon Souls, but, you know, regardless, that's what I think it means, you know, I feel it. Because, like, when I, when I look back, you know, the cathedral area was definitely easier than, uh, Old Yarnum, and Old Yarnum had the boss that I got stuck, like, an hour and a half on, whereas the cathedral area, I mean, I, there was a lot to it, but... You know, I didn't get stuck in the cathedral area. The boss only took me two attempts, whereas Old Yarnum took me like an hour and a half of farming. Um, you know, the only other area I've had to farm as much as the Bloodstained Beast to get past it was the 
um, the the old old watchdog thing, which obviously I'm not really supposed to do chalice dungeons this early in the game either. That was also a rather stupid mistake that I made. So basically, it's like you know when I when I keep hitting bosses that I can't kill and I'm getting stuck on, it's become a fairly common sign at this point in this walkthrough that it's because I'm not fucking supposed to be there and there's other content I'm supposed to do first. So I'm gonna try and just follow the the tombstone hierarchy basically, and um, you know I'll use that to dictate where I'm going to go. So obviously we have this. We'll find out where this area leads out to. I know we have the Forbidden Forest in terms of uh, Tombstone. Forbidden Forest is listed right after this area for now. So whether or not there's a sub-area to this, I don't know yet. We'll find that out when we get there. But so far, this area is kind of nice, you know? Everything is, uh, like, two swings. So this is supposed to be like the hardest thing in this area. I really like that. Swing, swing, swing. Oh, what is the other? Let me see what the uh, L2 is with it. Ooh, so the L2 is a wide attack, a slam, and then a cross. So this looks like it would be, like, whoop, boom. That's a very wide AoE range. Very nice. I have on anyway. We're going down somewhere. I don't know if I want to go down anywhere. Nope. Oh, God, for a second, I thought I got off it. Oh, no, that's the... Okay. Yep, I know where that area is at. Put that like that. That's the uh, area from down below, so that's just a shortcut. That's nice. Um, and then I came from that way, so I want to go this way. Boom! I want to kill something with that combo. Bone marrow ash. I haven't used that at all. That's the stuff that's supposed to enhance my gun, I believe, but... I don't know why you don't want to let me parry you all of a sudden, but I'm not playing that shit. You get down. Um, nothing else out here. I don't know why, I'm just, I, I like having my torch out more than my gun. I mean, I'm even getting be better with the parry timings, but still, man. Like, this game is definitely a lot more along uh, Dark Souls 1, Demon Souls in terms of the lighting. And the torch helps a fucking ton. Oh, I can't light those all on fire. I suppose it would cause a giant, giant barn fire. <laughs> I mean, just lighting a- carrying a torch like this through a barn like this alone would be enough to cause a massive fucking fire. What is this? Secret path to awesome things? No. No mercy for wheelchair. Nice. shitty. Damn. That thing is pretty baller. I don't know if I like it more than my axe. Like, the axe, it's strong and it's fast. 
but um, you know, focusing on a being like a primarily strength hero, I mean that little little extra damage from scaling certainly does help. But it's just a check. Let's see what we're at exactly, damage-wise, you know. Um, so. Oh shit! So that rune did it make my? Oh, okay. So that thing makes my whole axe fire. That's cool. Oh, so that's why I don't have the scaling worth shit anymore. So yeah, plus eighty on the scaling. That's that's pretty fucking significant. I like the axe's fire though. Fire axes are cool, right? Fire axe. Makes me think like. Uh, here we go. Another path. I feel like we're probably approaching a boss. You little bitch! What? Stop your mumbling. No one can make out what you're saying. Pretty sure that counted as a plunge attack. Just from like where I ran up on her, you know, slipped off that ledge. Looked like it was a plunge attack. That's the down below area. Come on. You gonna sit there all day, doofy? Oh! I forgot, you guys can be pretty fucking brutal if you're given the opportunity. Oh, okay. Let's not fight you so close to the edge. See, I have this thing with gravity where we don't tend to get along very well. Double attack. Walked right into it. At the same time, though, it does take a little bit of skill to learn those timings to, like, you know, make sure your smash connects at the right time. I say a little bit of skill, because you could just spam it. Whoa! Whoa, wait, what? What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh, for fuck's sake, man! It just gave me, like, a... F mm. Fuck you, PlayStation. That was like one of those messages you get when you like lose internet connection or something. It was like, oh my god, and that is it. My router. My router just shit out on me. Wow. Can I at least play offline? I was like, uh, I didn't even read the message. I'll have to like pause the video after the fact to see what it said. I think it said like, you know, Bloodborne cannot connect to the servers or something, but that's garbage. Hopefully it saved me there and didn't, like, fuck my save file at all. Mm. Looks like it loaded me right back in where I was. Bad puppy. That didn't work out how I expected it to. Alright. Glad we were able to recover from that rather quick. Would have, uh... Really fucking sucked if I had lost all that. Something sounds very angry down here. Oh, God, Axe Guys. T 
get the shortcut first. Okay, this way if we die at least, it's not a uh, fucking massive run back. Ah, the sweep on that is so obnoxious. Really, dude? Can you fucking not? Just headbutt me? Jesus. God, I hate those fucking things. Okay. We're going to give it to your friend the hard way. We just traded blows. Well, if you want to go the method of trading blows, it looks like the Kirk Wall does a hell of a job. Commend it for that. I just hate those things, man. Ever since the first one that I found, that just shit all over me. I've never liked those things. Shit, shit, shit. Got a little, uh, a little racy for a second there. Why, damn it, I did the... So, apparently, um... I figured it out, if you hold X and do one of these gestures, that's how it happens. So, like, if I'm holding X and I... That's how it does it. So, like, when I'm moving in my chair, the PS4 is picking up that, and it's like, oh, you want to do a gesture, right? And it hasn't yet, but I can almost guarantee that that is going to completely fuck me so hard later in this game. I'll be like mid-boss fight when my guy will decide he wants to sit down. Alright, that looks like it's going to lead up to a boss fight, actually. So let's finish exploring this lower area first. Or maybe not. Maybe this area... I don't know. Maybe this area ends and we do go up. I like closed paths. Lake. Oh, God. Come on, please get off. There we go. For a second, I thought I was stuck. I was like, no, please. I've come too far to be stuck. And I kind of want to go back and level up, considering I got uh, 22,000 fucking echoes at the moment. Almost 23,000 at that. In the very least, though, it's right there. We'll see. No, it's not. No. Lantern, I Thought oh, maybe. Maybe I was lucky. Not the case today. My turn, your turn. Now it's my turn. Man, that's like some Dark Souls 2 play shit. Dark Souls 2 playthrough shit right there, where I just... <laughs> hey, welcome to the Great Sword walkthrough, where we just smash everything. I mean, if it works, don't knock it. And it is working quite effectively. So it looked like there was some treasure back here. Yes, indeed. I haven't found any mimic chests, though. I wonder if they removed those completely. Got some tempering bloodstones. Man, this area reeks of a boss fight. 
Yep, this is a boss fight for sure. Well, either way, guys, I'm not sure what boss it is, but before we tackle that, we're going to wrap things up for here because we are already at 20 minutes. So make sure to stay tuned, and on the next episode, it's time to tackle a boss.